Carlos Hyde played three seasons in San Francisco with Colin Kaepernick and now thinks it's time the quarterback gets signed. While discussing what the league can do moving forward, Hyde said signing Kaepernick would be the first step toward proving that the league is moving in a new direction. So, Shannon, do you want to see a team sign Kaepernick at this point? Only if it's merit-based. But, Skip, the NFL is in the damned if you do, damned if you don't. Because if they sign Colin Kaepernick, what will people say, Skip? You're only giving him a job because of what's going on in America currently. And if they give him a job and he doesn't make the team, what are they going to say, Skip? You ain't give him a fair opportunity anyway, just like that workout. Mm -hmm. So the NFL is not going to be able to win. The, the problem is, is that Cap was good enough three years ago to sign, and he didn't get signed. Yep. So now everybody's going to think if you sign him, you're only giving him a handout, basically, because of what's going on. Because he took a protest, he was at the front of that. He tried to warn you. You didn't listen. Now you're backtracking, saying you should have listened. So it was almost like you, you, you're giving him a handout. And then if he doesn't make it, well, they ain't giving him a fair chance. They didn't want him to be in there because they didn't want him kneeling. They didn't want him corrupting other, other uh, uh, minds in the locker room. Mm -hmm. So I don't really know how the NFL wins. If Cap, I don't, and, and do we know if Cap still wants to play? We don't know that. Cap really hasn't spoken about that. He hasn't. You can put videos out there all you want to, Skip. I mean, I can go out there and put shooting videos. That doesn't mean I want to play in the NBA. Mm -hmm. So Cap's going to have to tell somebody one way or another what's going on. Um, but I just, at this juncture, Skip, I just don't see it. I don't see if a guy didn't get signed three months after he was out, uh, 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 um, the 49ers released him. He didn't get signed three months after that. I don't see it happening three years later. Now, Carlos Hyde is at Seattle now. I don't know if he was there when Cap was there. He might have been in San Francisco. Oh, in San, in yeah. San Francisco. He, he might have been there. Yeah, at the end, yeah. So... And so, but now he's in Seattle. Seattle, you know, brought Cap in. They did bring him in, sit him down. Mm -hmm. Didn't discuss football-related matters, but yep. that was the closest someone, you know, as far as bringing him in, talking to it, talking to him, even though they didn't talk football, Skip. Mm -hmm. For me, I don't have a problem if the NFL is going to sign Cap and it's based on on a merit, on he he's <sighs> earned the right. But I just don't know how they win, Skip, because if you bring him in, everybody's going to think you're only doing it because you have to in this climate that we're in. And if he doesn't make it, they're going to say, you didn't really give Cap a fair mm -hmm. chance anyway. Yep. So I don't really know how the NFL wins in this situation with Colin Kaepernick. <sighs> I am with you on this one. But I want to remind everybody before I launch about just how great he was, especially for the first two years. Mm -hmm. He got thrown into the fire by Jim Harbaugh, and he relit that fire. Right. And they went all the way to the last throw of the Super Bowl that should have been called pass interference, I believe. It was uncalled. They could have, maybe should have won the game. That's how great Colin Kaeper Kaepernick was in his first go-round as a starter right. in place, obviously, of Alex Smith. Smith. Second year, he gets them all the way back to the NFC Championship game against the Legion of Boom in Seattle. And it goes to the last throw of the game. Right. And Richard Sherman made a play on it in the yeah. end zone. So that's how close it was. So Colin in his first two years was 17 and six as a starter. That'll work, That's right? Good. Yep. Then the team started to decline, and obviously it's going to pull him down with it. So right. he goes eight and eight as a starter, then two and six when he had an abbreviated injury plagued year. And then the final year was one and ten as a starter. Mm -hmm. But he was 16 touchdowns to only four interceptions that right. year. And I thought three or four of those games on the road were really high quality starts. Right. Is he a starting quarterback? You, you, we all knew he was a starting quarterback. Right. And a good one. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm not going to say a great one, but a very good right. starting quarterback. Mm -hmm. And he well might still be. He would play next year at 32. Well, that's not too old. Mm -hmm. But to your point, three years away from football, I'm trying to make the case that Alden Smith, after five years, right. that's a former teammate right. of his in San Francisco, mm -hmm. could pull it out, have a fairy tale comeback story. Well, Colin certainly could, too. Mm -hmm. It's possible. So if I could just snap my fingers right now and make him a starting quarterback in the NFL, I would do that. Right. He deserves it. It's definitely not beneath his dignity, but a backup would be. Second string, third string. It's, it's just he's better than that. And to your point, it would come off as a sort of token sympathy move. You know, yep. like, like what? Okay. Come on. Yeah. You know, he's better than that. So if I do the reality right now, Jacksonville. Could he be better than Gardner Minshew? Yeah, he could be. I, I believe he would be, right. but I don't know that for a fact because it's been three years, right? right? Exactly. Okay, so they have his backups, Mike Glennon and Josh Dobbs, and they drafted that kid 
uh, Akeem Hicks Luton. mentioned that, Skip. Yeah. Remember in Chicago? Oh, he did, they, yeah. They mentioned it's like, yeah. hold on, Cap was available, and we signed Mike Glennon. Okay, all right. And they drafted that kid out of Oregon State, Luton. Right. And, and so those are their, that's their depth chart of quarterbacks. Is Cap better than, yeah, he's better than all four of them. Would they do it? I, I don't, doubtful. should, they, it's doubtful. Washington, I, I've told you from the start, I'm not a Dwayne Haskins fan, and I, I think they're going to be just perpetually frustrated with him. And they, got, they went down to Carolina and got Kyle Allen, mm -hmm. right, as right. the backup. Mm -hmm. Is Kaepernick better? Yeah, he's better than those two. But I'm going to remind everybody, and, and by the way, you brought up Seattle. We know what happened. I mean, Russell Wilson is the clear-cut, you know, yeah. unquestioned starter. Yeah. But we both believe that the reason they didn't want him, whatever it was, about three years ago, is he would be too big a threat to Russell Wilson, right? Right. right. Because you know what would happen if Cap gets brought in as a backup the media is so on fire now with this cause that we keep talking about in this country where everybody is starting to unite behind this racial justice claw, uh, cause right. that the media would immediately start campaigning for Kaepernick to get a shot to, to be the starter, right? Mm -hmm. Well, a lot of teams just don't want that because they're happy with, say, a Russell Wilson. They, right. they don't want that distraction. Right. They don't want that conflict in the locker room, right? Mm -hmm. I'm also going to remind everybody Cam Newton does not have a job right now. Correct. Why is that? Well, he's he's actually too good for his own good because Cam was he was born to be a starting quarterback. He's not a backup quarterback. No. Do you want to see Cam carrying a clipboard? He he's he's almost not capable of it. His aura, his 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 reputation, his mystique is too big. Right. Now let's talk about aura and mystique off the field. Colin Kaepernick has it right now. Correct. It's huge, and I don't want to see it diluted because he tries to make a comeback into the NFL. What if it sort of fizzles out? Right. What if it doesn't work? Does it take? Does it diminish some? It won't. It won't diminish what he's done no. off the field. Heck no. But it will say that's why they didn't sign him in the beginning Good. because his skills. It, people are not going to look. Skip. It's been three years since mm -hmm. Colin Kaepernick uh, cap last played in the NFL. Yep. They're just looking at a guy that's in this getting an opportunity now and things aren't going well. And then everybody will say, that's why team A, that's why team B didn't sign him because his skill wasn't his skills weren't worthy mm -hmm. of being signed. So I think there's more to lose than gain than coming back because Skip, I, I don't see a starting job that's out there. And and you say, well yeah, was he better than Gardner Minshew when he left? I believe he was. But three years later, I mean, think about it, Skip. I don't believe Michael Jordan would have been the same. Michael took a, well, a year and a half off, and it took him a year to get back. So yeah. imagine taking two more years off, Skip, even in his pri a prime. Mm -hmm. That'd have been a dip. That's a tough ask. Yeah, and remember, Alden Smith's going to try to do it after five years. He's just rushing he, the pass. Yeah, yeah, Skip, just go get the quarterback. <laughs> yeah, that's a whole okay. different ball game to get a quarterback. Quarterback, rush the quarterback. Yeah. Very different. Very. Okay. Don't let's not forget the debacle of this workout that Colin had back in November. Right. Remember in Atlanta? Yes. And there was so much bad blood. It was he said, he said. Both sides were saying, we thought that. No, we said, no, we said, no, we said. Right. No, you said, no, you said. Right. And he picks up and moves the workout at the last second, 60 miles south to a high school mm -hmm. from what was going to be the, the Falcons, Falcons facility, mm -hmm. right? And Flowery Branch, yep. Yep. And I don't know what happened, but you concluded this is a disaster, yes. right? Yep. And you concluded, I don't know for sure if Colin really wanted this to work. Well, the thing was, Skip, is that they he didn't trust the NFL. The nope. NFL didn't trust him. And then everybody was questioning, well, why are you doing this now? Why are you doing this now? You've never, the NFL has never scheduled a workout. Team scheduled a workout. Skip, I mean... Hold on, how is the media, the media world is going to set up a job for somebody to go get an interview? If the company wants you, the company brings you in. Yeah. So they're like, hold on. NFL, you've never done this before. In the history of the NFL, where the NFL has set up a meeting for all the teams to come and invite all the teams mm -hmm. to see one said player. So everybody was leery to begin with. Why are you doing that? Yeah, so mm -hmm. everybody looking at you kind of side eye like, mm -hmm. what you up to? And it's like, now we go. Well, well, I want this. I want my crew to be able to film it. I want this. So he's untrusted. Yeah, because he didn't trust how they would edit if they filmed the workout, Skip. right? Okay, he didn't trust them. They didn't trust, they didn't trust him. He didn't trust them. So now where are we? Well, I'm going elsewhere. And the NFL's like, that was their cue. Well, I see, I told you he's going to be more trouble mm -hmm. than he's worth. Mm -hmm. See, 
In that situation, Skip, you can't give them a reason. No. Nope. Even though it's not, even though it's a valid reason, mm -hmm. you can't give them a reason to nope. say, see, I told you he's gonna be more trouble than he's worth. Mm -hmm. And that's what he did. That was their out. They were looking for it. Skip, if you don't like you office, you know, you like, well, come in for an interview. You don't really want it. You don't really want them to get, get the job. You don't really want to interview them. And they call you and reschedule. Thank you. Mm. That's what Cap did for them. Yep. NFL was like, thank you. Yep. So 25 representatives of NFL teams yep. were scheduled to be at Flowery Branch at the Atlanta facility, Correct. right? Yep. Only eight traveled the 60 miles south to the high school to watch him throw. And, and by, all, by all accounts, he threw great. Skip, but the thing yep. is, what they, they were at Flowery Branch is further away from the airport than where he went. They were going to be actually closer to the airport. So all those uh, those 17 that didn't show up, right. if they go there, they're like 15 minutes from the airport, as opposed to an hour plus mm -hmm. in Flowery Branch. Yep. Okay, so I talked about his very rare mystique right now that mm -hmm. Colin has. Yes. And, and obviously, he's just proven right. Mm -hmm. And my frustration with this whole development is I kept waiting for Colin to seize the day mm -hmm. and become the outspoken leader of this movement that we as a country needed. Right. And he still hasn't done right. that. And I don't know why, because he's not just a good.